if you notice that the total flow out of the Kumani is lower than it should be, so lower than 10 meters per minute, you may need to open up the unit to check for any loose connections, and you may need to replace the filter under the pump. So I'm going to explain how to open the unit, how to check for any loose connections, and how to replace the filter under the pump. So your first step should be to remove the patient from the Kumani, place them on another Kumani unit, or place them on an oxygen therapy. And then you'll want to turn off the unit and unplug the unit and detach the patient tubing from the bottle tubing. And you should also remove the bottle in case the water spills. And then you will take a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the six screws around the outside of the Kamani. Once you've removed the screws from the outside, you can lift up and remove the lid from the unit. And place the lid aside. And now you have access to the inside of the unit. You should check all of the tubing connections inside of the unit. Make sure everything is connected. If you notice something is disconnected, make sure to reconnect it and then check the flow again. Remove the spare parts kit from the wall of the unit and tear it off of the Velcro on the side. And once the kit is removed, you'll want to open the kit and view the contents. The kit should contain a service log. A foam filter that goes under the pump a bottle tube, and four rubber pump feet, two spare Phillips head screws, and two replacement pieces. To remove the filter, you'll need to remove the pump from the unit. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws holding the pump to the unit. Once the four screws are removed from the pump, you can lift the pump up and out of the unit and turn it over. Check the filter to see if it is dirty. If it looks dirty or clogged, you'll want to remove the filter. You'll take the spare filter from the spare parts kit and you're going to need to trim the filter down so that you can fit it under the pump. So the length of the filter is 10 centimeters, which you can see here. You're going to trim two centimeters off of one side and two centimeters off of another. So you can mark it at two and at eight centimeters with the Sharpie. Then you'll take scissors and you'll cut along those two lines, trimming two centimeters off of each side of the filter. And now your filter is ready to go under the pump. You're now going to remove the old filter, take the pump and turn it upside down. You'll need to tear the filter out from under the base and tear it around the four rubber feet under the pump. You'll need to pull fairly hard to completely remove the filter from around the four feet. So continue to pull on the filter, tear the filter, until it's completely detached from all four feet. And once the filter is torn around the feet, you can push the filter through that hole with your finger Continue to push on the filter and try to slide it out from under the base. You can also take a pen or a small pointed object and push on the filter through one of the corners until the filter 
becomes loose and you can pull the filter out from under the base. And once the filter is removed, set it aside and throw it away. Take your new filter and you're going to insert it under the pump base so that you're covering the entrance of the pump. So you're going to compress the filter and push it into a corner and under the base over the pump. You can also use the holes in the base to try to pull the filter through. You'll need to, to slowly push and pull it until the filter completely goes into place. And it should fill all four squares on the pump base. So keep pulling it and pushing it until the filter is flat and covering all four holes. Now that the filter has been replaced, you can reattach the pump and base to the unit. Take the four screws and reattach with the screwdriver. Once you've attached all four screws with the screwdriver, making sure it's securely attached, you can then put the contents of the spare kit parts back into the bag and reattach the bag to the wall of the unit. Now then take the lid and place the lid back on the unit. making sure it snaps into place. And then you'll take your six screws and secure the lid with the six screws. Now that you have replaced the filter under the pump, you've reattached the pump and you've closed the unit and tighten the screws around the unit, you will need to turn on the unit and make sure that the total flow goes up to 10 liters per minute. So you'll need to plug in the unit in the back. Turn on the unit. And look at the total flow meter. Adjust it until it increases up to 10 liters per minute. And then set it back at the flow that you would like to provide to the patient. And now your humanity should be working correctly.